currently uh, October 11th, 2017. We're doing a monthly astrological sign reading for the month of October. And the sign that we're using is Cancer. So hello, Cancers. Hope that you guys are having a good month. My apologies for getting this out so late. Um, I'm sensing that communication is very strong for you guys this month. Um, you may be a little bit hesitant um, this month, but you're also being drawn towards uh, things and people that are very healthy for you. So uh, because of this, you're doing a lot of um, clearing, releasing. I'm also feeling like you're actually hearing um, an inner voice through your intuition that is very powerful right now. Uh, there is a little bit of comfort for you guys right now, so it's okay to feel comfortable in your own skin. It's okay to heal any old wounds. It's okay to talk about your problems. That may be a little uncomfortable for you this month, but it's okay to, so telling yourself it's alright. Uh, working on... <sighs> Kind of like what's coming through is working on yourself as well as um, finding things that stimulate you. Uh, I also feel like there may be times where you want to run away, but it's not recommended right now. Okay, so let's get into the cards. Eight of Wands is suggesting that uh, we have to learn through other people. So it's kind of what I was saying is... Uh, tapping into that intuition and listening so it may be that we're listening to what other people actually have to say and that we can find comfort in um, getting advice from other people okay so um, eight of wands is all about taking action it doesn't matter how what who where or when as long as you're moving forward just trust and believe that you are knight of wands is saying that um, sometimes we hurt people's feelings but it's not intentional so if you feel like uh, you're clearing the past, that's possible. I just saw something like a reflection or a, a mirror, um, a reflection in the mirror. But what my sign for that is, is that we're actually mirroring behaviors and we're actually reflecting on behaviors. So that's what this is talking about. Sometimes uh, there are learning lessons through other people in how we've been hurt by others or how we hurt people. So uh, just pay close attention to... Um, yeah, like where your mind goes when I when I even talk about that, okay? So um, it may be a time of bouncing ideas off of each other as well. Knight of Wands is a representation of a person who has a lot of um, endearment. Uh, some, for some people, it's enthusiasm, but uh, it could be related to culture. Uh, it could be related to um, evidence, uh, that sort of thing. But it's really like just focusing on those... Uh, things that, that I said earlier, just the things that kind of uh, bring out uh, something in you that you feel is worth learning, okay? So Three of Swords, this is why um, I'm saying it's okay to feel comfort right now because what you're um, seeking or finding right now, and there's educations coming through for all signs, is we're um, identifying with ourselves through others, but... We're seeking to find balance right now. So what you're going to find is honesty is a big characteristic, and that's giving me chills, um, that we're looking to find in others, and as well as how we can be more of ourselves. So I'm really feeling off right now, so that means someone that's watching needed to hear that. And it's just talking about balance um, and grounding, um, <laughs> being gravitated towards other people that we know we need to be around that sort of thing. But passion is a big one. So if you're feeling like you're moving forward in a passionate way, then know that you're leaning towards the right direction. All right. Don't overthink. Two of Wands is talking about making some plans, moving forward. Um, a lot of devotion. So if it's related to a partnership or career, it's just saying it's okay to um, link up with people. It's okay to um, work on how you're going to link up with people, that sort of thing. So uh, could be like network marketing. Um, and now I was talking about an extravagant lifestyle yesterday. And so for some people, we're not quite capable or able to um, to live a life that we necessarily want to. We have to live within our means. But what's coming through is a, it's kind of like when we get outside and we feel better and we breathe and we connect with nature. Our mentality shift so that's kind of what I'm hearing with you guys you don't have to be a doctor um, in order to you know be successful you can be um, very successful 
within your within your own means, like within yourself. So it's a it's more based around um, having the right mentality in order to find success. Okay, so we're all striving for that. So just keep in mind it's a mentality for you guys. Okay, right now. Um, it's about getting back on track as well for some people. Nine of Wands, so this is kind of uh, related just in terms of uh, the power of suggestion. When there's something that we want to do, we have to um, affirm it, we have to pray for it, we have to put it on our vision board, we have to create goals. So that's why the planning is coming up and saying like not to give up, um, not to get well, I mean, you're going to get frustrated, but we're releasing, okay? So we're acknowledge what you're letting go of so that you can keep moving forward. G give yourself more of that pat on the back. Um, give yourself some encouragement. That's why other people are good for helping you guys right now. So the last card is um, Four of Cups. So breathing is what I was suggesting with, the, um, with helping with moving forward in terms of uh, when we get grounded through the earth and through nature and through natural things, uh, we just feel better. So what uh, this card is saying, the Four of Cups, is a person who has very deep feelings. You Cancers, um, I would say you struggle at times because of emotions, and what you need to do is put it all to rest. So allow your mind to um, focus on the things that you really want to do right now, coming up with new plans, that sort of thing, maybe talking about some of your ideas, um, rather than allowing yourself to get... Um, internalizing things too much so yes communication is a big one learning as much as you can and really um, making the effort to again power of suggestion so just um, yeah just like you have to kind of agree and acknowledge that these are things that you want for yourself okay because we can't change what we can't we can't change what we do not accept that sort of thing so um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't, please do. You can also check me out at Robin Sealing on Facebook as well as Instagram as well. My um, personal readings are um, available on robinsealing.com. If you're interested in one, feel free to go onto that site and check me out. Bye!